Hi and welcome to the second episode of Daydream District Discovers, where every Friday I'm discovering something exciting about Daydream VR that you won't find if you simply look into the Daydream Play Store. Last week I discovered Ready Player One, our new channel bible, and this week Daydream discovers Trinus VR. Trinus VR allows you to play your PC games on your Daydream headset or actually on any other mobile VR headset. So if you have cool Steam games like first person shooters that you would like to relive in VR, you can do so with Trinus VR. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. One of my favorite pre-VR games that I would love to play in VR is Bioshock Infinite. And I'm now going to show you how I play Bioshock Infinite on the Daydream View headset using Trinus VR. So enjoy! So I'm going to show you now step by step what you have to do to use Trinus VR on your Daydream headset. First of all, go to trinusvirtualreality.com to find the Trinus website. So your PC games in virtual reality on your smartphone, that is exactly what we want to do, so we are right. All your games, no wires, any head mount. Okay too? Yep. So far so good. So, what else do they have? Steam VR, non-VR games and Trinus games. Everything you can play with Trinus VR. So now let's have a look at their video. Okay, that's enough, I think we're all sold by now and the great thing is it really does work as advertised. However, I would suggest to use the, the tethered version where you do plug your USB cable to your phone because they will give you simply the best results. So you need a smartphone with a gyroscope, you have it, you need a PC, probably you have it too. You need a router or USB tethering, yes, and you need a head mount, well you do have your Daydream View or any other cardboard probably ready there. And now you need to download the PC server of Trinus. And you also need to download the Android app, which you can find on Google Play. So do download the Trinus VR server and run it. So I have prepared that here for you already. And here you can see how Trinus looks like. We do have some settings here, network, video. Yeah, lots of settings. However, I didn't change anything. The only thing that I changed, I changed the headset and changed it to Cardboard 5.5 and this setting works really fine. Too bad they don't have the Daydream setting directly there, but Cardboard 5.5 works fine, at least with my Pixel XL. So I had downloaded the Trinus app and installed it on my Pixel. So let's bring the Pixel in the mix. Here it is. And do start the app. You will see a safety warning and then you will get to this screen. Now input your USB cable that came with a pixel into your computer and click on USB tap to activate. Now enable USB tethering and on your PC you can see that the phone was detected now. Now all you need to do is to start the Trinus app on the PC, click on the triangle and now the client server is ready and uh, as you can see on the phone we do have those two screens now which are for the left eye and for the right eye. At this moment in time you can already put your phone into your Daydream View headset but one thing is important, you have to disable NFC on your Pixel or on your phone so that the Daydream app won't open automatically. So again, disable NFC. 
and now simply start your Steam game. And here we go. In this case, I'm starting Bioshock Infinite. Now what you don't see here, but what you have to do, you have to play the game in window mode. So the game has to play in a window. And also for the resolution, it has to be the same or lower than your phone one. So in this case, I have set the resolution to full HD. So again, in the settings of the game, set it to windowed mode and for the resolution, choose full HD. So here we are now in Bioshock Infinite and I'm going to start a game. So I'm using my mouse here, I'm using my computer mouse to do these settings, but I could also use my gaze since my rotation that I'm doing with my head are being translated into mouse movements with Trinus VR. So here I am actually in the game, in VR, playing Bioshock Infinite in VR and it works actually very very well. There's very little lag, there is a little bit lag of course, but actually it's really really good, it works very well. I'm very happy about the results since I didn't actually optimize any settings so it works nearly out of the box like it does here. And there's still so many settings that you can use to optimize your experience in Trinus VR. So if you're wondering how I'm steering this, well I'm sitting in front of my laptop, um, I'm wearing my Daydream View and I'm using my mouse and the keyboard actually to, to play the game. And my head movements are automatically translated into the game so I can look around just as if you're used to in VR. However, I can also use the mouse to do the same if I want to do it. I can tell you this is definitely a great way to relive the old classics like Bioshock Infinite. To be here in VR, it's so good and much better than, of course, than playing it on a normal screen. The Trinus guys really have done a great job of translating your head movements into mouse movements. And that's why you can look left and right within VR, even with those games they were not made for VR. As mentioned before, there's lots of settings and you can change the sensitivity if your head movements don't translate perfectly into this VR world. So you can make it perfect for you once you have finalized the settings. But these results are already very, very good. And I'm actually I'm surprised that it works so well. The full version will set you back 8 euros, uh, should be the same in US dollars. And if you think that this allows you to replay all your favorite games in VR, that is a good price to pay. But the great thing is that you can first try it out and see if it really works on your system. So download the Trinus PC server and the client for your Android phone, Trinus Lite, and simply check it out if it works or not. So that was pretty simple, wasn't it? I think that Trinus VR is a very cool app that you should absolutely check out. The trial version of Trinus VR is free, the full version costs $8, but we're also going to have a giveaway sometime next week, so do stay tuned to Daydream District. That's it already for this week's edition of Daydream District Discovers. I hope you could learn something new and I do hope that you enjoyed this show. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Daydream District yet, do so now.